Now that we've saved our work, we need to proceed with making our box. So right now we're going to actually make the, the interior of the box. We're going to cut it out so that we can actually put stuff inside our keepsake box. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over and out of the way. So I'm just moving mine to the top left corner of the work plane. And I need to actually come and get another box from the geometric panel on the right hand side and make it the exact same size as the one we built previously. So if you remember, it was 100 millimeters across, which is the same as 10 centimeters. And it was 70 millimeters wide, which is seven centimeters. It looks like I might run off the work plane. Let me actually drag that back just a little bit. All right, there I am, 70 times 100, or 70 by 100, rather. And now I'm gonna grab this handle right here. Remember, you don't wanna get the cone. The cone will pull it up off the work plane. We wanna get this one, and we wanna make it 35 millimeters. Now, I'm gonna click it, make sure it's selected. It has a blue outline, and I'm gonna choose hole over here in the inspector. So we talked about that earlier, but we didn't actually do anything with it. So let me click hole, and you see it turns into this transparent shape. Well, let me just show you. You can drag that onto the existing box. And essentially, when I select both objects by clicking and dragging and choose group in the top right bar, it literally cuts out. So I didn't have it quite all the way over the, the back of the box. I couldn't quite see the back of the box, um, but it, it joins the two shapes and cuts a hole. So clearly our whole shape should be a little bit smaller than the original box. So if you did that, go ahead and undo it and then back out of here so that you have uh, your hole and we can edit that to make it just a little bit uh, smaller. So instead of 100 millimeters across, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 94. So I took six millimeters off. And if you divide that by two, you get three. And that means that each wall is three millimeters thick. And I'm going to do the same thing moving in the opposite direction. Instead of 70 millimeters, I'm going to back it off six millimeters so that it's 64. So we want 94 by 64. All right, perfect. The last thing I'm gonna do is adjust the, well, you can adjust it instead of saying 35, you know, bring it down to about 30 millimeters, which is what I'm gonna do. And that leaves a five millimeter base. So the base is a little bit thicker than the wall. So uh, just to recap, we made this hole smaller by six millimeters across the front, six millimeters like, like going towards the back and then five millimeters here on the height. And that's so that we have three millimeters walls and a five millimeter base. Okay, so somewhere these two are together. So let me just click and drag those and try to pull them back over here where I can see them better. And if at any point you need to get back to like a default view, you can click this home button in the navigation panel and it'll adjust it so that it's centered. So I'm gonna just kind of zoom around here and see. So if I look underneath, I can see that my hole is not quite centered. All right, so I need to fix that. Let's see if I can get that fixed. All right, so I'm gonna grab the hole. I'm gonna move it over and I'm also gonna bring it up. I'm hoping to, well, let's see here. This is gonna take a little tweaking. Clearly I want it to start peeking around the top. So now I can grab the cone and start bringing that thing up. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm gonna make it even. Now, if I look over the top, I can see that I'm not quite centered up. So I'm gonna take this hole and I'm gonna center it. Now let me go around on the bottom again, just to make sure it's not showing through the bottom because we definitely need to keep our bottom. And it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna group these together. But again, I just click and drag over both of them. You see the blue outline on both shapes. And I group them together, fingers crossed, it's actually going to make a box for us. And it did. Perfect. Okay. So there is our box bottom. And I can go ahead and oops, choose design and then save.